Welcome to the Autodesk Fusion 360 What's New for September. Today, we're thrilled to unveil a suite of enhancements that promise to redefine how you approach design, simulation, and manufacturing. These updates reflect our commitment to streamlining workflows, reducing common user errors, and empowering you with even more advanced tools. Let's get started off with the design workspace. We're thrilled to introduce the sheet metal rip feature, a game changer for anyone using the sheet metal workspace. This tool automates the process of creating tear line, smooth sailing to turn sheet metal parts into flat patterns for manufacturing. If you go to the modify tab, select a face or two starting points and then define your gap width, then it's done. This feature is particularly powerful for lofted parts like air ducts, hoods, or funnels. Next up in our Fusion 360 September release, we're enhancing your design flexibility with major updates to T-spline features. Meet the Subdivide Improvement, a tool that radically improves how you edit non-quadrilateral faces. For the first time, you can subdivide these surfaces more than once allowing for much finer control. In the new subdivide tool, you'll see a count option to choose how many divisions you want and you're set. This elevates your control over complex forms, making your design process smoother and more precise. Rounding out our T-spine enhancements in this update is the revamp bevel tool. We heard your feedback. Editing beveled corners used to be cumbersome, but not anymore. Previous versions ignored T-spline curves at corners, leading to non-ideal surfaces. The updated bevel tool seamlessly blends T-splines from one bevel to another, giving us smooth corners and unmatched control over surfaces transitions. Fusion 360's configuration is not just a new feature, it's a groundbreaking shift in design and manufacturing. This tool centralizes multiple design iterations allowing for faster prototyping, efficient manufacturing workflows, and enhanced simulation capabilities. This feature will undergo a phase release. We want to make this functionality rapidly accessible, giving its potential to significantly enhance numerous workflows. Yet we also want to ensure an exceptional experience. By adopting a staggered approach, we aim to seamlessly integrate this powerful feature into the Fusion ecosystem. Trial users will get immediate access to the feature and within the next week, all commercial users will also be able to utilize its full capability. Accessing this functionality opens the new configuration interface. Configurable aspects denoted in blue can be almost any design element from feature parameters to materials and complex rules. Saving a configured design updates the file icon to a new symbol. For better organization, I like elements can be consolidated into custom theme table. Transferring configured elements to theme tables streamlines your design and ensures the primary configuration table remains concise. Keep an eye out for a more detailed video dedicated solely to configuration. We're thrilled to present some 3D sketch enhancement. This update is all about refining the experience of working in the 3D sketch environment. After these updates, you'll have an even greater level of control and precision in 3D space. If you're accustomed to the intuitive feel of 2D sketching, get ready to experience that same fluidity in 3D. You can now apply constraints to points and lines in 3D just like you would do in 2D, whether that setting lines to be parallel or ensuring a point is coincident to a complex surface. Also, you can now drag items directly within the canvas. Gone are the days when you need the move command for every little adjustment. Plus, dimensioning in 3D space between points and lines is now a breeze. Now, let's shift gears to the drawing workspace. 
The Change Arrowhead feature offers you new unmatched customization for your documentation. With this update, you can now choose from 19 new Arrowhead shapes in addition to the default close field option. Whether you're working on dimensions, leaders, balloons, bend IDs, or hole IDs, these new shapes are available to give you drawing that specific touch. Closing out our updates in the drawing workspace, let's talk about custom line width, a feature that puts you in the driver's seat for how your design are presented. No longer are we settling for preset line width. Just go to document settings and set your line width groups to custom. This allows you to specify practically any width for your thin, medium, or thick line groups. Now, you can maintain a consistent style across all your drawing. To address the issue of unintended disconnections in generative design, we've introduced the disconnection filter. It automatically resolves reserve body linkage issues to prevent early solver stops. Let's also talk about configurations in the generative and simulation workspaces. The menu lets you select a specific configuration, much like how it's done in the drawing workspace. Once selected, that configuration is treated just like any other part, no additional learning curve. This means users can seamlessly simulate multiple configurations of the same design within a single file. Next up is manufacturing with quite a few new enhancements and features. This release introduces configurations in the design space. These are also available downstream in the manufacturing as well as access from drop down menu. When a new configuration is selected in the manufacturing workspace, it will show up as a design change and all toolpaths will automatically be invalidated and require a regeneration for the selected configuration. We always strive to continually improve our existing toolpath and develop new strategies. As such, as part of the September release, the flow toolpath is being replaced by a more capable, stable, and robust underlying algorithm. This new algorithm works better on complex freeform services, allows you to specify a step over, and is more robust so you'll end up with less toolpath fragmentation and better surface finishes. You can still access the old algorithm should you choose by navigating to your preferences tab and turning on old flow from the manufacturing optional features. Geometry features have been enhanced to better support template and automation workflows. It is now possible to create and save operations such as thread, bore, and circular without creating a valid geometry selection. If the selection is invalid, the user will see a warning, but it will be able to save and continue. The naming of geometry feature selections has changed to make identification and reuse of geometry easier with a prefix depicting their status, being closed or open. With many additive technologies, it is more economical to utilize the build volume by packing as many parts into the available build space as possible to reduce the per part cost. Auto fill component is a new feature allowing you to select a given component and duplicate it within the available area or volume in your 3D printer while keeping the orientation of the part the same. It also automatically adds those components to the active additive setup and arranges them based on your desired arrangement criteria. When using 2D or 3D arranged within an additive setup, you can now inspect the build and find out about the number of parts within your volume, as well as your arrangement density based on the printer's available volume, or the build height, or your arranged components. Additional build plate connections options have been added to bar support and the user experience now looks and feels more like volume supports. From the new connections tab, all the settings to control how your bar supports will connect 
to your components are available, such as the shape and dimensions. A new root option has been added alongside the existing base plate option, giving greater flexibility, allowing you to create robust connections to the build plate. When generating volume supports for components, it is better to avoid having your support structures come in contact with the up skin sections of the part. Angled volume supports are now available in the additive build extension and can be accessed from the volume support dialog. This option allows a pivot point to be introduced so that the support structure can bend around the point to keep away from critical surfaces or faces directly below the supported face. This reduces the time spent during support removal and minimizes additional post-processing steps needed to clean up blemishes had supports been in contact with critical features or faces. Multi-axis deposition toolpaths are now available in the additive build extension. These toolpaths enable you to drive multi-axis additive manufacturing machines, including metal processes such as directed energy deposition, but also polymer and concrete deposition processes. Being extremely flexible, you can create entire parts or even just add features to existing components, as well as create toolpaths for repairing components such as mold, dies, and impeller. Obviously, being in Fusion, you have the full suite of machining toolpaths. So once you've created your additive toolpath, you can pass the stock model forward to subsequent subtractive machining operations for a complete end-to-end -end hybrid manufacturing workflow. In a move to refine our engagement with users and streamline the testing of new features, we're introducing a pivotal shift in our preview functionality. Public previews are now transitioning to insider previews to enhance our communication channels, facilitating rapid feedback and feature enhancement. It's vital to note that access to these previews now hinges on registration with the insider program. For those deeply integrated with specific previews, like old flow toolpath, they'll find these relocated to preferences. Should you have any questions or insights, we're always open to conversations via the Insider program. We're incredibly excited to see how you integrate these tools into your project and achieve a parallel result. Thank you for joining us on this journey with Fusion 360's latest and greatest. Don't forget to check out the blog post to learn about what else is new in Autodesk Fusion 360. Until next time, embrace innovation and let's continue shaping the ability to make anything.